Okay, so now in this example, we're going to talk about combinations of solids and finding the volumes of that. So in this example, we have a silo, so a grain storage building, and we want to find out, hey, how much grain will this thing hold? So we need to find the volume. And so this is a cil cylinder with a hemisphere on the top of it, or a half a sphere. So we so we've got two things going on. We've got to find the volume of the cylinder part and then the volume of the sphere, the half sphere, the hemisphere, and then add those together. So let's build the formula for the volume. So it's going to be the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the sphere, right? But it's only going to be half of the volume of the sphere. And so this is going to be the whole volume total, if you will. So what's the volume of a cylinder? Well, a, a, a cylinder has a height and a circular base. So it's going to be the area of the base times the height. Well, it's a circular base. So the volume of a cylinder is going to be pi, um, pi r squared h plus one half the volume of a sphere. Well, the volume of the sphere, this is one you're, you're going to have to know, is four thirds pi r cubed. Okay? And there's our formula. So now all we have to do is plug in what we know. Well, we know the radius is 40 uh, feet. This is in feet. So it's going to be 40 squared, and h is 122 feet, and then, oops, not plus, or not equals, plus, one half, let's do this, four thirds pi times 40 cubed, okay? So again, make sure you use the pi key on your calculator, and I would stick this in your calculator and just let your calculator do the work. You need to know the formula. And so if we measure, as we calculate this, what do we get? We get 747,000 cubic feet of grain is what this thing can hold. And that's it.